alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back, my friends. The sun is shining in Charles City, a good sign. Things are looking up, except for maybe the Cedar River. It's finally looking down back inside its banks and keeping an eye on it. Of course, I did see a car go through the parking lot here, so I believe they've reopened that. Not surprising. The standing water that was there has simply a just receded back into the river itself. However, the bridge does remain closed because the water is still quite high. It is still technically in flood stage. We'll continue to monitor that as we get some dry days. That being said, it's going to be relief for a lot of us across the area. We still see plenty of flood warnings there in that bright green color, especially along the Mississippi. That's going to be kind of where our attention goes to over the next couple days into the weekend, because a lot of that area is expected to reach higher up as we do go into the weekend. A lot of that flowing down from further north. Moving to satellite and radar, and you can see some rain present. We're talking maybe a few areas of just some sprinkles, nothing heavy, nothing organized, just some excess moisture that's trying to get out of the atmosphere. I'll zoom in here over the last hour. And I saw it's broken apart a bit. These areas where we're seeing more of the dark green color, indicating where we're seeing some of that light rainfall, but it's not lasting long. So if you've got a few sprinkles overhead, just give it a few more minutes and it will move on out. Most of the activity can be found further to the south, further to the east, kind of bowing out as it continues to move there. More so concerned about what's going on in Illinois, just south of Peoria, kind of heading towards Springfield right now, because we've got a bit of a bowing severe thunderstorm there. That means some pretty strong winds present. All right, back closer to home. We're watching temperatures now as we go through the day. Mason City, Charles City, both getting a little more sunshine right now, and it shows temperatures already back into the mid 80s. Now in Rochester, Owatonna, 79 degrees. Same with Albert Lee, a little warmer in Austin. Not too bad as we do get slightly above average here throughout the day. I'm also keeping an eye on the numbers in the green boxes. Those are the dew points. They're not looking too bad. In fact, 60 degree dew points is fairly comfortable compared to the low 70s that we have been seeing these last couple days. So when it comes to the stickiness, it's pretty typical here when it comes to our summer days. We'll be watching though as the temperatures do go up, you will feel it. It is going to be a bit warmer out there, but some nicer days are on the way. So let's talk about it. Sky Tracker 3 trying to pick up on basically what we're seeing right now. That possibility for a few isolated areas, some pardon me, some light showers here or there as a mixture of sun and clouds continues through the day into the evening. This is around 7 p.m. Now I'm going to fast forward here as we go into our Wednesday. We're going to start with more cloud cover around 6 a.m., but give it some time and the sunshine will be right back out 24 hours from now. A great day to get out and do some lawn care. I know so many people have been waiting for a stretch of dry days. Today, tomorrow, Thursday, looking great. Friday, a little iffy because we've got rain back in the forecast. The good news, temperatures aren't going to be that warm. And although we do see the chance for a few storms, as of right now, nothing is looking to be too heavy or too crazy. By Saturday and Sunday, Annalise, I am so looking forward to this weekend. Low 70s, sunny skies, that is perfection. That sounds amazing, especially after the stormy weekend that we had. Yes, we're going to enjoy it. All right, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> mm -hmm.